The Great Basin, a vast and awe-inspiring region in the western United States, stands as one of Earth's most extraordinary landscapes. Forged by millennia of dramatic geological forces, this sprawling territory is a testament to nature's power, where towering mountain ranges cast shadows over parched deserts and shimmering lakes shift with the seasons. Yet beneath its breathtaking beauty lies a stark reality. The Great Basin is one of the planet's most unforgiving and inhospitable regions. What makes this land so captivating, yet so perilous? Let's embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of this remarkable place. The Great Basin is no ordinary watershed. It is an endor Hayesk Basin, a rare geological feature where water is trapped within its boundaries, unable to flow to the nearby Pacific Ocean. Instead, the region's water follows a cyclical path. It evaporates under the relentless sun, seeps into the porous earth to feed underground aquifers, or circulates endlessly between rivers and lakes. This self-contained system makes the Great Basin feel like a world apart, governed by its own natural laws. Spanning an immense 209,000 square miles, roughly the size of France, the Great Basin encompasses nearly all of Nevada, the western half of Utah, a significant portion of southeastern California, and even small pockets of Oregon and Baja California, Mexico. It holds the distinction of being North America's largest drainage basin without an outlet to the sea, a true marvel of geography. Far from a single uniform basin, the Great Basin is a mosaic of hundreds of smaller basins, forming a complex mega-region. Its sheer scale and diversity beg the question, how did such an extraordinary landscape come to be? The answer lies deep within the Earth's crust, where the restless movement of tectonic plates has sculpted the Great Basin's dramatic terrain. The region owes its existence to the interaction between the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. As the Pacific Plate drifts northwest and the North American Plate shifts west-southwest, the tension between them stretches the Earth's surface creating a distinctive basin and range topography. This pattern features rugged mountain ridges separated by wide, flat valleys, a hallmark of the Great Basin's landscape. Nestled between two colossal mountain ranges, the Sierra Nevada to the west and the Rocky Mountains to the east, the Great Basin is further defined by the smaller Snake River Basin to the north. These natural barriers form a clear boundary known as the Great Basin Divide, akin to the Continental Divide. Beyond shaping its borders, these mountains profoundly influence the region's climate. The Sierra Nevada, with its towering peaks, casts a rain shadow over the Great Basin. Clouds carrying moisture from the Pacific are blocked by the mountains, leaving the region starved of rainfall. This phenomenon has given rise to vast deserts, including the scorching Mojave Desert and the expansive Great Basin Desert. Perched on the western edge of the Great Basin, adjacent to the Sierra Nevada, the Mojave Desert embodies raw, unrelenting harshness. The rain shadow effect renders it a hot desert where summer temperatures can soar past 120 degrees, 49 degrees C, and vegetation is sparse. Its barren expanses serve as a stark reminder of nature's ability to shape extreme environments. Far larger than the Mojave, the Great Basin Desert dominates roughly two-thirds of the region, making it the largest desert in the United States. Its landscape is a study in contrasts, with sun-scorched valleys giving way to mountain peaks that rise over 10,000 feet. The climate varies with elevation. Lower valleys are warm and arid, receiving minimal rainfall, while higher elevations enjoy cooler temperatures and more precipitation. Rain that falls on these peaks trickles down to the valleys below, feeding the region's unique hydrological cycle. 
In a land as harsh as the Great Basin, water is the essence of survival. When rain does fall, it embarks on a multitude of paths. Some flows into rivers like the Bear River, a 350-mile lifeline that empties into Utah's Great Salt Lake, the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. Yet, this lake is ephemeral, its size fluctuating dramatically as intense heat causes portions to dry up seasonally. Other water courses into the Humboldt River, the Great Basin's most vital artery, stretching from near Reno in the west to beyond Salt Lake City in the east, the Humboldt's meandering path makes its exact length difficult to measure. Some water seeps into underground aquifers, becoming a hidden reservoir for both ecosystems and human communities. With its blistering temperatures, rugged terrain, and scarce water, the Great Basin is far from an inviting home for human settlement. Much of the region remains sparsely populated, a testament to its challenging conditions. Yet, throughout history, resilient individuals have dared to call this land home. Human presence in the Great Basin dates back to around 10,000 BCE, when Paleo-Indian peoples crossed the Bering Land Bridge from present-day Russia to Alaska, eventually migrating south along the Pacific coast to reach the Great Basin. Known as the Folsom Culture, these nomadic hunter-gatherers roam the region's challenging terrain, adapting to its extremes. Over time, indigenous groups such as the Ute, Mono, and Gosh began to settle in areas with reliable water sources. One such oasis was Lake Lahontan, a massive endorheic lake in what is now northwest Nevada. At its peak, Lake Lahontan spanned 8,500 square miles, providing a vital refuge for early inhabitants. However, as the climate warmed, the lake gradually vanished around 9,000 years ago, leaving behind remnants like Pyramid Lake and Walker Lake. The 18th century marked the arrival of European explorers in the Great Basin. In 1765, Spanish explorer Juan Maria Antonio de Rivera became the first documented European to visit the region. Over the next century, a series of treaties, including the Spanish Session, 1819, the Oregon Treaty, 1846, and the Mexican Session, 1848, solidified American control over the Great Basin and its surrounding lands. In 1847, Mormon settlers established the first major non-indigenous settlement in Salt Lake City, laying the foundation for a lasting presence. Their arrival, however, sparked conflicts with indigenous groups, particularly the Ute. The California Gold Rush of 1848 drew thousands of fortune seekers across the Great Basin, following the grueling 1,600-mile California Trail which hugged the Humboldt River. Travelers braved deserts and treacherous mountains to reach the promise of a better life in California. In 1859, the discovery of the Comstock Lode, a massive silver deposit in Nevada's Virginia Range, transformed the Great Basin. The first major silver find in the United States, it sparked a boom that swelled Virginia City's population to 25,000 by the 1870s, earning Nevada its nickname, the Silver State. Yet, as silver reserves dwindled, many residents moved westward to California, seeking milder climates and new opportunities. Today, the Great Basin remains one of the least densely populated regions in the United States. With an estimated population of 8 to 10 million, concentrated primarily in urban centers like Reno, Nevada, approximately 490,000 people, and Salt Lake City, Utah, about 1.3 million. Despite urban growth, vast swaths of the Great Basin remain untouched, a testament to its inhospitable nature. Water scarcity defines life in the Great Basin. An intricate network of man-made reservoirs and irrigation systems sustains the region. For instance, the modern Lake La Hontan, created by a dam built in 1905 by the Bureau of Reclamation, 
is a cornerstone of this system. Water is collected from winter snow and spring rains, then distributed to homes and farms. Underground aquifers are also tapped, though their finite supply raises concerns about long-term sustainability. Approximately 30,000 Native Americans live in Nevada alone, many in rural areas of the Great Basin. Reservations such as the Ely Shoshone Reservation, established in 1930, and the Duckwater Reservation, 1940, provide homes for indigenous peoples. However, these communities face significant challenges, including poverty, unemployment, and isolation. Remote reservations often lack adequate infrastructure, and water supplies are sometimes contaminated by mining activities. Mining remains a key economic driver, with silver, and more recently, lithium, a critical component for batteries and technology and vehicles being extracted from the region. Ranching along the fertile banks of the Humboldt River also plays a role. Increasingly, tourism is gaining prominence, capitalizing on the Great Basin's stunning landscapes. Skiing in the mountains near Salt Lake City, exploring the surreal salt flats west of the Great Salt Lake, and attending the iconic Burning Man Festival draw visitors from around the globe. Despite human ingenuity in adapting to the Great Basin's challenges, climate change poses an escalating threat. Rising temperatures accelerate the evaporation of the region's scarce water, while finite aquifers face depletion. Water scarcity, a long-standing issue due to the region's geography, is now exacerbated by rapidly changing climatic conditions. The Great Basin is a land of extremes, extreme temperatures, dramatic elevations, breathtaking beauty, and inherent danger. While its unique formation and rich history make it a captivating subject, its future hangs in the balance as environmental pressures mount. The Great Basin is more than a geographical wonder. It is a story of resilience, both of nature and of the people who have called it home. From the first indigenous inhabitants navigating its harsh terrain to modern explorers drawn to its raw beauty, the Great Basin remains a place of mystery and challenge. For those who seek to understand the Earth's most extraordinary landscapes, the Great Basin is an unmissable destination.